Hey guys and welcome. And today I wanted to talk about a Notion template that I built to track all my tasks and daily activities and kind of have like my own task management system that kind of keeps me accountable, kind of keeps me uh, productive, kind of motivated to look at what I need to get done and kind of follow up on my projects and not just have a bunch of to-do lists where I need another to-do list just to follow my uh, to-do list that I have. It's, it's chaotic is what it is. So I kind of took all the systems that I used to use, a bunch of note cards and a bunch of apps, and I kind of made my own Notion template so I could follow the big projects that I have and the big projects that I'm working on and break them down to steps. And it's, um, it's kind of like a philosophy that I've been following to try to keep myself uh, productive and kind of, kind of try to keep myself moving. And if you're a serial procrastinator who takes on these big projects, but then can't follow through uh, because you don't know where to start and you don't know how to follow them through. Well, um, I hope that this template helps you. It's helped me out a ton and I hope that it helps you out as well. If you're interested in building your own task management system and you want to kind of uh, have an idea on how I did it, how to prioritize your tasks and how to link them to projects and kind of follow through and get it done, well, um, stick around and I'm going to show you the way, way I try to track my projects and stay on track. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Hey and welcome back and this is the projects template that I promised to show you all. This is the template that I use to follow up my projects. This of course is a, uh, is a mock one because I don't want you all to see uh, exactly the projects that I'm working on uh, at work and on the side. So this view gives you an overview on, on the different projects. Um, let's go inside and we have we have a master list here. So you see that these are not checked. Um, you have your project name, your what's the status of the project. Um, you also have the importance of the project. And uh, this is based on a formula which kind of calculates whether it's serious and you should be working on this or you could maybe procrastinate a little bit more. And it all comes down to importance and urgency. And I have the same priority matrix, matrix for tackling your day-to-day -day tasks. So essentially how it works is you assign an importance and urgency and it automatically gives you the priority of the project. Um, and this kind of gives you an overview on which tasks you should be working on. So all tasks that are linked to these two projects on top, which have a higher priority, are the ones that you need to kind of focus on and all the tasks are linked here. This is a direct link to your tasks database and you have your project progress task bar. And this is also a calculation based on how many it looks at all the tasks that you have pending and how many of them you have completed. And it counts um, how many in total and gives you a percentage of progress, which I think is super cool. And you can assign people, um, tags, and this essentially is your overview of your projects. And I think this is quite important. And this is linked to your tasks. So if I go to tasks, you can create a new task here and assign a project. So you know which of your tasks is, is, is helping which of your project. And this kind of keeps you accountable because I think in a lot of ways, if you don't know how to break it down from a project level into um, the minute tasks that you need to do to get your project going to complete your project and I think that's one of the biggest problems that I face is I take on these big projects and I don't know where to start so here I can kind of put down all the tasks as as and when they come to me I just immediately take down a task assign a time for it and then assign which task is associated with which project so I can have like a high level view. And then for each task, I also kind of assign importance and urgency. So I kind of see the priority matrix here. And um, and based on this, 
it calculates in my project overview what is my percentage of completion what i need to focus on which projects i'm kind of lagging behind and um, these are th these are the things that i think is super important if you really want to get going and um, complete your tasks so this is a short overview on my projects database um, now we could go into timeline and this is this is a new feature in notion which is super cool i think uh, which kind of gives you shows you your overlaying projects and timeline essentially a project is any task that has a bunch of subtasks linked to it so first create a project assign a particular importance and urgency and get the priority matrix uh, set a deadline and then link tasks that are associated with it uh, once that's done you can go back to uh, tasks and you can also look at your today overview if you have assigned a particular task to that particular day so some this is all about keeping yourself accountable and keeping yourself in the loop to kind of kind of get it done um, i hope this template kind of helps you because it's helped me a lot to keep track of everything that i'm doing or to at least remind me that i'm not making progress as much as i should or i am kind of lagging behind on certain certain projects and um breaking things down from the big high level picture um, into my new tasks has helped me a lot so this is the this is the project overview and i hope that it helps you if you have any questions just write down below and i'm going to try to help you so i hope that helps you um, see you in the next one cheers